good morning. So it is 8 a.m. right now and I'm ready to go because we're going to the U.S. today. I'm so excited to do some shopping. We are going to do shopping in general, but in this video, um, this is a thrift with me because we're going to go to a few thrift stores and hopefully the finds are good. Thrift stores are so much cheaper in the US, so I love going thrifting there. And also I feel like people just like donate more cool stuff. Like they're not too worried about like reselling it and stuff like that, like they are in Canada. So the thrift stores are usually pretty good no matter where you go. So yeah, I'm so excited. We're definitely gonna be hitting up like St. Vincent de Paul. I think there's one in Buffalo called Amverts or something like that. And like maybe also Goodwill and stuff or just like whatever we see along the way. So yeah, let's just get right into it when we'll start with the fit check. Okay, let's try and do a fit check in here today because the lighting over there is really bad next to my mirror. So yeah, I have a leather jacket and a little pink top from Garage. These pants are just like Levi's 94s. Then we have my Doc Mary Janes and I even have some little floral socks on. And then my thrifted bag and this cute little bow in my hair. technically Niagara Falls in New York, but we're gonna head over kind of towards Buffalo. We're gonna hit some thrift stores on the way. There's the St. Vincent de Paul's, there's some Goodwills. So yes, this is all very exciting. I've never been to the US even like on like without my parents anyways. I have been with me, he's not in the car right now. So it was very like nerve wracking going through border security and my passport is literally about to expire in like less than a month. So I was like kind of worried, but it went well and the like, guy wished me happy birthday. So <laughs> I also have a little bit of like a thrift like a list that I kind of want to go through with y'all before we get to the thrift. Um, it's kind of a long list, not gonna lie. I'm not expecting it, all of these things, but I am hoping for the best. So number one, we have some long sleeve shirts, like Brady Melville tight, like kind of grungy esque long sleeve shirts. I really want a pleated skirt, whether that's a midi, maxi, mini. I just need some pleated skirts. Like they're so cute and trendy right now and I want one so bad. Other things are knit cardigans. Like I just, they're so good to layer. Like it's kind of getting warmer now. Like it's like eight degrees today, which is crazy warm, but I just still want some layering pieces for, cause I feel like it's gonna get cold again. It always does. Also a red purse, just like a cute little like Y2K, like 90s-esque red purse would be amazing. It's always been on my list. Also some cute ballet flats. I do have ballet flats. I'm sure you know if you've watched my other videos, but I just really want a good, like kind of like more structured ballet flat, even with maybe like a teeny, like this much of a heel, just like a little bit there just more structure that way i can actually wear them all day without my feet hurting also some track pants some like you know like those adidas track pants just easy to style for like the comfy days when you know i don't really i still want to look cute but like also be wearing comfy clothes colored belts just such a good accessory it's just like adds a little pop to an outfit they've been on my list for a while also just like the Harry style, Harry's house style blouse. Like, I don't know what to call the style, that style of blouse, but just like the kind of like very lacy, like cotton kind of blouse. And then last but not least, I really need a new pair of low rise flares because mine don't fit me anymore. So that's another thing that's on the list for today. So let's get to the thrift. Okay, so our first stop of the day was that Amvets thrift store. And immediately I saw a giant section of records and I wish I could have went through them all but there was just so many and so little time. This store was huge, like so big, so I kind of had to like, it was kind of difficult trying to figure out where everything was and the organization of like the clothing themselves was kind of odd. But then we got to searching. So the first thing that I found is this super cute little embroidered top, but I just don't think it would have fit me nicely. Also, like the flower patterns are like popping off today, but obviously this wouldn't have fit me. Also this cute little Abercrombie and Fitch for only $4. The prices in this thrift store were to die for, like everything was under $5, which is unheard of at Canadian thrift stores. These shoes were such like a cute little like ugly cute moment, you know the one. These also would have been adorable if they were my size. 
they're like the perfect basic black heel and then I found these loafers which are like the perfect loafer like the little bit of like a platform in there Ugh, they're so cute Also, this little long sleeve with some cute embroidery on it as well, but it also would have been too big, unfortunately. And then I had to take a quick look through the purses, but no gems there. And then we were ready to check out, but I actually did decide against getting the loafers, just because they were like $10, which is like $13 Canadian. I was like, eh, meh. Okay, so the only thing I ended up getting at that thrift store was this long sleeve top little like adidas one but it's so cute and it was on my list like to get some long sleeve tops so i'd say that was partially a success i just didn't really want to go through everything because it was so overwhelming and the organization was so weird so on to the next but maybe some food first destination number two Okay, so the first thing that I saw when I walked in is just the amount of amazing glassware that they had at this thrift store. And then I took a peruse through the belts and I found something cute, but it was like kind of confusing to me. It was this belt right here. It's like corduroy with some cute embroidery, but I don't really understand how you're supposed to wear it as a belt. So I didn't get it. And also these cowboy boots were so cute. Also, they had all these super cute little, like, fur, like, coat things, and I was very, very tempted to get one, but they were $30, and I don't know if I could quite justify that. But that is, like, a decent price. So, I did contemplate it for a while. And then I saw these super cute little, like, grandma sweaters. Oh, I kind of love them. Also, I loved the print on this shirt. Like, I kind of was tempted to buy it and then turn it into something, but I just don't have the time for that anymore. It would have been a waste. And then I found these freaking Dickies pants, which are like the Dickies pants, you know? So that was exciting. This thrift store wasn't as big as the others, but it was decently big. And then I saw some cute little red purses, but none of them were like quite... What I wanted, like, I, I don't know what it was. I just, like, wasn't feeling it. I don't know. They're so cute, though. Also, this Betsy Johnson one was kind of cute, but I have no idea how I would ever style that bag. Okay, so back out of St. Vincent de Paul. And it wasn't a very big store, so there wasn't, like, a lot to choose from, but I did find these Dickies pants. Like, you know, like, kind of like the Dickies pants. And they were on sale for only $2.25. And but like, that's insane. Or $2.50, I guess. Yeah. $2.50. So now we're gonna go to Goodwill. And that'll be our last stop. So hopefully I find more than one thing or else this is gonna be a boring ass video. Okay, possible last thrift stop. Hopefully we get some good stuff. I'm really like praying, manifesting that we get a good haul for you guys, so. Let's go and fucking ravage this goodwill. And last but not least was this little goodwill. And we didn't spend very much time here because it was so small. Like they had like five full racks and I went through them pretty quickly. I did find this super cute little Miss 60 coat. I was very tempted to buy this, but I ended up not doing it because like I really don't need another coat. And then also this leather jacket that had like fur on the outside was super cool but I think it was like $30. And then I took one last look out through the jeans because I really wanted to find a pair of low rise flares, but I was unsuccessful. Okay, so we're leaving the Goodwill and I got three things, which is like technically three times as much as I did at the other places for like a total of five things, which isn't like that bad, but yeah, I don't know. Um, if, there, if we have time later, maybe we'll stop somewhere else, but probably not, so. Let's move on to the actual full haul then. Okay, time for the thrift haul now. I think I ended up getting about five pieces, so hopefully it's a good enough haul for y'all. So let's get into it.
guys so that is it for this video I actually ended up with a pretty good little thrift haul in the end like these pieces were actually not bad even though it was only like five things they all fit pretty well and they're just super cute so i'm so i'm happy i'm happy with the outcome but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see any more of my thrift videos the playlist will be linked down below and make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time goodbye